This is your Fox 10 News Now update. Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. Mobile police searching for clues in a shooting. Here's a look at the scene. Now, we're told it happened around 10 last night at a boarding home on Broad Street near Augusta Street. Investigators tell us that one person rushed to the hospital with injuries. It's unclear what led up to the shooting or if a suspect is in custody. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News and check our website at fox10tv.com for updates. Mobile police also are still looking for a man accused of shooting his daughter's boyfriend at the Azalea Point Apartments. According to investigators, the man and his daughter showed up at the boyfriend's apartment after the pair had argued earlier. Police say that when the man flashed a gun, the boyfriend rushed him and was shot several times. He's expected to recover, but father and daughter disappeared before police got there. A mother booked into Metro Jail accused of leaving her child in a car while she was inside of a nightclub. Pritchard police say that 20 year old Eva Rudolph turned herself in overnight. She is charged with endangering the welfare of a child, which is a misdemeanor. Now video showing a child alone in the back seat of a car sleeping around 3 a.m. Saturday morning. It went viral. Pritchard police are saying that Rudolph is the mother of the child and was inside the Lotus nightclub when the video was shot. Now, it's not clear how long the child was in the car before the videos were recorded and the car was gone by the time that the police arrived. The police chief says that the video has been turned over to the Child Advocacy Center and the Department of Human Resources for further review. Rudolph already made bail and is out of jail this morning. A popular high school rivalry football game between Viger and Blunt postponed because of COVID-19. The Battle of Pritchard called off at least for now as two Blunt players have tested positive for the coronavirus. The district is following Alabama High School Athletic Association rules, meaning that the team and the coaches are quarantined for 14 days, plus an additional five days for acclimation back to school. The school district hopes to reschedule the Battle of Pritchard at a later date. Until then, though, the game counts as a forfeit. The school system says the positive cases at Blunt are not deterring them. Renee Phillips says that they are continuing now with precautions in place and still have plans to continue playing football this season. We're not requiring anyone to come to football. That is something that they, um, we had meetings with all the parents and the students involved to let them know the risks involved with there being a pandemic. In recent weeks, football teams at St. Luke's and UMS Wright have had to quarantine because of positive cases. Blunt's next game that they can play is on September 4th at Baldwin County High School. Our meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. That is a live look at our radar just before 430 in the morning and you can see everything is dry and quiet. A few spots did pick up thunderstorms yesterday, but the coverage was not overwhelming. It was not widespread across the entire Gulf Coast. You can see on this 12 hour loop, those storms did develop and work their way from the northeast to the south and west. We'll see a few more popping up today, mostly this afternoon when temperatures are at their hottest and the air is the most unstable and as moisture levels deepen later this week. The coverage of rain and storms goes more widespread by the end of the week and we'll see our temperatures begin to decline. This is the time of year where the tropics start getting very active and we have two disturbances we're watching very carefully. One to the east of the Leeward Islands and then one out in the Atlantic Basin. Now the lead wave has a 60% chance of developing over the next five days. That's the one over the Leeward Islands. The one that's deeper out in the Atlantic Basin has a 90% chance of developing over the next five days. This lead wave, the odds of it developing are still pretty decent, but the chance of it impacting us is very low. In fact, it may not even survive over the next four to five days. It's the wave behind that. The one that's deeper in the Atlantic is the one that we'll have to pay much more attention to as we move in over over the next several days. Here's our weather headlines for this Tuesday. A hot day ahead. We'll have off and on storm chances for the remainder of this week and we'll continue to track the tropics on the future cast once we get to about two this afternoon when temperatures crank up. That's when we're going to start to see showers and storms begin to pop back up. Heavy rain and lightning as always this time of the year will be the main threats and then we'll see the storm chances end once the sun goes down and the rest of your Tuesday night and your Wednesday morning should be fairly 
fairly quiet. Here's how the next seven days are going to stack up for you. The high today in the mid 90s, and then we see low 90s for Wednesday and Thursday. High temperature can actually be under 90 by Friday, but you can see coverage of rain and storms will be in the 50 to 60% range from Thursday all the way through the weekend. We'll talk much more weather throughout the course of the day right here on Fox 10 News Now. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.